Harvey Alaska. Hi, Harvey Alaska. Hi, Harvey Alaska. Although times have changed, and so have many places around the world, Dainid remains the same in many ways. The people still hunt the sea and gather berries and greens from the island. The animals still provide food and clothing for the people, and their culture is still very much alive. But one thing that has changed over the years is the language. We pray that the education system has a lot of things to do with it, you know. Like I said a while ago, none of these children, in fact, most, most all of them don't speak the native tongue. They might understand it, but they don't exercise it more often than some of them. My time here, that's the only way of communication. Now, you can see, as you walk out there, you can see all, as most, every children is uh, speaking in English. Time change. It's just time change. This is a long time ago. They used to speak. I remember my brother used to tell me, Dennis, he used to tell me, he used to, he used to speak Nupia when he was young. He used to speak it in school, but it was bad in school. So they quit that. They couldn't speak in school. That, I think that was the reason why we lost using our language slowly. It's been said that the youth of rural Alaska are living in two worlds. One world being the traditional native lifestyle that they have grown accustomed to, and the other world being outside world, which is becoming ever more present in their daily lives. This balancing act for the kids has forced teachers to take an alternate approach to the educational process. Just this year, we started to implement what's called the quality school model, and what that is is we're, we're taking the Alaska standards, and then we, then the Bering Strait School District actually made them a little bit more precise, and then we're teaching to the standards rather than just letting a book direct what we do. We let we do we try to teach the standards, and once they master the standards at each level, then they progress to the next level. It's all more independent studies also. So a lot of it's project based, which is excellent for these for the students that we have because rather than just 
doing book work, they got to be out doing real life skills. They've got to be, and that's part of the components is that they got to. We have to address every standard needs to be addressed in a way that they can use it in their real life. So make uh, education really practical. The youth of this village take pride in what they do. Here we see two young ladies practicing their carving techniques using soap. Carving is an age-old tradition of the Anupak people. Sit some cushions in there, that'll be a nice couch. Next week, you make a recliner. Diomede School has made sure that the youth of the village have activities to do in the evenings. Teachers donate much of their time to make sure that these kids keep busy learning both Western culture and their own. These young ladies are learning how to use a sewing machine. On an island where there are no malls or clothing stores, knowing how to make their own clothes will be beneficial for these youth. You pin it together. So Sam, this is what you're going to do when it comes to time for you to do it. Okay. And sew along here. Straight down. Okay? Now what do you need? Good. Lift up the back. I have um, seven children. Um, I didn't grow. I grew. I didn't grow up learning my own Nupiaq language. And this is one thing I could teach my kids, and this is other kids, and other kids. Andrea Sulik spends many of her evenings at the school teaching the youth many of the traditional songs and some not so traditional songs. They come from Diamond, some are from Russia, some are, um, I guess what our elders made, you know, like stuff that came before, like we have a helicopter song, and, um, when the first helicopter came, I guess some, uh, one of our elders made it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Something I value a lot. Something I'm like I'm good at. It took me years to really become good. And they get to know the right way to dance. You know, like I was taught. rings back through centuries. It's more than stories and movements. It's one way that these people express themselves and share with others, sharing who they are. expresses some feeling, something they see, or somebody who created the song. It's just like, it's just like a poetry. Years ago, it's just one form of uh, entertainment. For the back only entertainment for us within the community. But the old folks used to say, I used to remember saying that when you feel down, when you feel depressed, the best place to go to the, to the dances, Eskimo dances, and uh, it make you feel a lot better. It's still, it's still there. <laughs>
once upon a time, there was a wise man who built his house in the Northland where it's cold, where the wind blows. But he had a Toyo stove. The Toyo Stove Laser 60 AT with the wood fireplace design is the perfect direct vent heating system for your home. A force flue pipe design for venting results in maximum efficiency and a large circulation fan distributes clean heat quickly and evenly throughout your house. Papa, you're the wise man. You have a Toyo Stove. On your next visit to Anchorage, be sure to stay at the Creekwood Inn and RV Park. Now under new management, the Creekwood Inn offers 26 newly renovated rooms and a cabin that sleeps six. If you're in town for an event, the Creekwood Inn is the nearest hotel to the Sullivan Arena. The Creekwood Inn also has 68 RV spaces available year-round and offers winter RV storage with water, electric, sewer, and cable. The Creekwood Inn and RV Park is a proud sponsor of the Iditarod Fur Rendezvous and the Alaska Fighting Championships. So the next time you're in Anchorage, visit us at the Creekwood Inn and RV Park. Flying in Alaska? Fly Frontier, the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Frontier is expanding again. They've added new routes to Nome, Kotzebue, and the surrounding villages. As you can see, Frontier is now really covering Alaska. So the next time you fly, try Frontier. Frontier offers quick, convenient check-in, low fares, and service direct to many of the villages. Frontier Flying Service is the official airline of Heartbeat Alaska. Make it your official airline, too. In the 1890s, pioneers carved a railway through the rugged mountains between Skagway and the Klondike. More than a century later, the White Pass and Yukon route still makes this legendary run. Along the way, life has gotten better for folks working on the railroad, thanks in part to Primera Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska, a health plan that's offered smart choices and quality coverage to the people of Alaska since before it was a state. Primera Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska. We're here. We're with you. For the past two days, there have been few seals coming close to the island. Today, Andrew has decided to try hunting a little closer to town. A cormorant drifts by, closely watching the hunter. But Andrew pays little attention to the long-necked bird. However, a duck has caught his attention. Andrew slips around to the other side of the rocks to get a better shot. If there's one lesson the hunters of Diomede have learned, it's that patience pays off. Andrew will now have to retrieve his bird before the current takes it away. As the bird drifts around the point, Andrew tosses his throwing line out. The object is to snag part of the bird with the hooks of the throwing line. Andrew will have to be quick because the weather is starting to change. Although Andrew is unable to successfully snag the bird, he does manage to get it closer to the shore and eventually retrieves the bird. These young men 
are stretching walrus skins over an ubiak, measuring for length. These skins will be measured and sewn together into one skin. The skin sewers of Daini are experts at what they do. With a needle and sinew, the women will join together five walrus hides to form the waterproof skin of the umiak. It's an art that they've learned from their ancestors. Keeping with tradition, Vera Ozdena is working side by side with her daughter, Andrea Suluk. It's a time consuming work that requires a strong back and precision sewing. It'll take these ladies a few hours to complete this project, but the umiak that they are making the skin for should last several seasons. In the meantime, the umiak must be cleaned and prepped before the new skins can be put on. It's a long process that can take all day to complete. When the skins are finished, they will be draped over the umiak frame. Several loops have been made in the skin that will be used to lash the skin to the frame of the umiak. Travis Koyukta is helping tie down the skins to the umiak. Around here, the youth are actively involved in subsistence activities, something the adults of this community are proud to see. The umiak is like no other boat. Umiaks can hold an incredible amount of weight, and unlike aluminum boats, umiaks are extremely flexible and durable. As we traveled around the island in one of Aja's umiaks, it was easy to see why they called the island the rock. On the east coast of the island, we passed a popular place for picking berries and greens, known as the valley. As we rounded the south side of the island, a fox started up the side of the hill, disappearing into the rocks. By the time we traveled around the island, the sun was setting and the lights of Daini reflected off the water, as though to say, welcome home. Hunting is a timeless tradition here in Daimede. It's not something you just go out and do. It takes years of preparation to become a hunter. Besides learning about the sea and the land, young hunters must also know the hand signals that are used while out hunting. Animal signals when you're out boating. The more man can hear you, this is the seal. The seal. You just look back at the motor man on top of the wars. Wars. Oh, you just got this. Uh, it kind of just made that up. I've been doing that with my uncle. <laughs> no, but wars time. Well, going down. Well, or uh, another one. Um, I think they eat this gray well. But uh, bowhead, bowhead. This is bowhead sign. The bowhead. It's still the same, but well. If you can't make it out, just go like that. Well, if you can make it out, go ahead. Uh, polar bear, like it's walking. A game on top of the ice. Oh, that's, uh, I think, uh, Kamoguta. On top of the ice. 
Sue on top of the ice or Animal on top of the ice. <laughs> I can't do that on the camera, birds. We just like that. Uh, if we think it's seal, somebody will go like this, birds. You go like this, seal. You know, look for, gaze for a while and look at it. Oh, they grow wings. <laughs> or a dive. It's another day, and Andra Kunyak is heading out the North Trail again in search of seal. There's often a great deal of time spent waiting for prey. Today, Andrew spends his down hours waiting for a passing seal, or he might not see anything at all today. It requires patience and an understanding of the animals and their habits that will eventually pay off for Andrew. My students came to me at the beginning of the year well prepared for first grade. They could write real letters. They could sound out words. Back at school, the kids are attending a pep assembly to recognize the outstanding achievements of some of the younger children. So Marianne, you want to come get your certificate? Okay. Rebecca Ozena. Felicia. And Sophie. Thank you very much. This pep assembly is also a way for the youth to have a little fun at the end of the week. Principal Dwayne Bonson has lined up a couple events that require some of his old clothes. The objects here put on a suit and tie, run down to the other end of the gym, take off the suit and tie, and let your teammate do the same thing. easy, doesn't it? The whole thing, the whole half. Stick it all in. Yes, the people of Diomede know how to have fun. And with all the hard work it takes to survive on little Diomede, nobody deserves it more. That's a lot of pressure, isn't it? Around the world, the fast-paced tempo of city life continues. Everyone has somewhere to be, and they're probably already running late. But here in Diomede, it's back to the basics. The food must be caught and the family fed. Yeah, yeah. 